Conventional lending, hard money lenders, private lenders. There's a million and one ways that people say you can finance a rental property business. Teresa, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and I am here to help you folks get your money right. And I do that through the vehicle, the investment vehicle that helped me get my money right, and that is real estate investing. Back when I bought my very first property, I was 21 years old working at a Radio Shack and I needed my brother to rent out the basement so I can afford it. That's probably the back of his head that you are looking at right now, folks. Fast forward 11 years later, Holton Wise has sold over $200 million worth of investment property. We manage thousands of properties for many hundreds of owners. The portfolio we run right now today is valued probably I'd have to guess in the $75 million range, right? So you can change your life through real estate investing, okay? It can happen, but what I don't want to do, I do not want to blow smoke up your butt and I do not want to uh, give you Improper expectations, and I think that there's a lot of people out there that are giving improper expectations, right? So you getting the correct information for me, Teresa, that is, uh, first and foremost, the most important thing to me, okay? So your situation, right? Because, by the way, folks, if you're, if you're new to this show, the way this show works, the MLS Search Analysis Show, I work with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, right? So folks, go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, MLS Search Analysis Package. You order one video or a series of video. We got three packs, four packs, ten packs, right? And then uh, when, when you order these, you do it online. My team, we send you an email, and we need to get all the information there is to get about you, right? I want to know your wants, your needs, your goals, your experiences. I want to know what your credit profile is like. I want to know what you're doing today, what you're hoping to do tomorrow and down the road, what you want real estate to accomplish for your life. I need to know everything about you, right? So we try to get as much info as we can about you so I can put together a plan of attack for you to help you obtain this financial freedom, uh, you know, or, you know, just grow your overall net worth, right? That's that's what I want to do, but I got to do it the right way. So after we come up with the plan of attack for you, I, I then position properties that I think will help you accomplish that, right? And where you're at right now, Teresa, uh, I, I think you're in the very, very beginning stages of this, and I don't want you to get disenfranchised. I do have a property um, that I think would be a great property to target based upon your wants and, and what you want to do. Um, but I don't know, from the looks of things, I don't feel like you are necessarily in the position to get that deal done today. Now, the good thing is, uh, you bought a four-pack from us, okay, Teresa? You bought a four-pack, so you're going to get four videos. I'm going to analyze four properties for you. But these are non-expiring. They don't expire. They get banked into your account with us. So we're going to go over a lot of stuff today. And if at the end of this video uh, you find that you're not able to to take this deal down, don't you worry. You can come back to me in 12 months, and we'll knock out the second one. We'll see where you're at. We'll do the second video. You can come back to me 24 months, and we'll do the third video. 36 months from now, and the fourth video. You can come back to me in 10 years. If it takes you 10 years to get to where you need to be to take this deal down, that's fine. We will be here for you. These videos, folks, when you buy these packages, they never expire because this is not a get-rich-quick thing. This is not on Monday. I want to change my life through real estate investing. This is James Wise dude. He, he was working at a radio shack, and now he runs the biggest portfolio in the Cleveland market. I'm going to knock that out by Wednesday. Folks, it doesn't doesn't happen overnight. Uh, I mean, my business, right? I'm, I'm 11 years into the business right now, okay? Uh, so things are going to take some time. 
and these packages they allow us to give you the time and resources to be your long-term partner so with where you're at today you said you don't have a specific budget um, because your credit uh, is in rough shape uh, and you are interested in working with private lenders seller financing and hard money lenders as far as private lenders and hard money lenders go, let me just break down the difference for you. Private lenders, okay, there are no such thing as private lenders who advertise. What those are, those are hard money lenders, okay? Everybody thinks that they're two different things, uh, and they think that private lenders are a better deal. There are folks out there that are saying that they're private lenders and they're advertising, but I'm going to tell you guys, cutting through the bullshit, if you're a private lender who's advertising, you're a hard money lender. By definition, that's what you are. You're a hard money lender, right? So there's hard money lenders out there, Teresa. Uh, the interest rates are going to be very high. You're still going to have to have a decent amount of money, probably like 20 to 30 percent uh, of the property, and then probably uh, maybe like 50 percent or so of the uh, renovations if we do properties that are need to be renovated. And the way the deals are in this market, uh, there's a very, very tight inventory, okay? There's very tight inventory out there, so there's not often enough meat on the bone to to get in for a brand new person to do a deal and pay a hard money lender and have it make sense uh, before they refi it out. And with your credit being bad, you won't be able to refi out anytime soon, so you're just, your profits are going to get eaten up by that hard money lender. So I, I don't want you to prematurely uh, try to go out and get bad financing just to try to do a deal because another thing with your situation is you've, you've explained to me your job. Uh, it's a blue collar job that's great. Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about your job but just based upon the salary uh, that that type of job pays I, I'm gonna guesstimate based upon all the info you give me and what I know those salaries to be is you don't have a big cushion here okay so w when you're getting into deals where you got to do hard money lenders I mean there's there's probability that the deal could go south and you could be in a worse off financial position right there are risks in real estate investing and you need to have a bunch of capital to cover those risks right so I, I really don't think you are a person that should be targeting hard money loans right so like let's I'd rather see you wait and get your credit profile fixed get some savings so you can do the traditional financing before I want to watch you go down the hard money route, okay? So that's that's that. The next thing you said is private lenders, right? Like I said, anybody that says they're a private lender and they're advertising, they're really just a hard money lender. So everything I just said right there, boom, hard money lenders. That's what that is. Other than that, a true private lender, that's someone who's not in the business of loaning money, right? So this is people like your mom, your dad, your brother, your uncle, things of that nature, the, the guy that works down the hall from you, right? People that you personally know, have personal relationships with, and you approach them, right? They're not in the business of lending. Now, if you could work out a deal like that where you find somebody that wants to get in the game uh, and you guys want to team up and they have some money, uh, you could do the legwork. You've reached out to me. You've reached out to Holden Wise. You've ordered this uh, set of videos. You could be their only point of contact. They don't have to worry about talking to us in order and analysis videos, right? Uh, you could find that person and that could be your pitch to them if, if they want to loan some money to you or do a JV where you guys partner up and you just handle all the legwork. I mean, that would be fine. That would be great. If you, if you can go down that route, that'd be awesome. I would say we should pause after this video, wait till you find that partner and let's utilize the next videos uh, for you and your partner. That that's That's a route you could take. And as far as like what the terms are, it's whatever you and that person can agree upon, right? There's no set market because, again, they're not in the business, right? They would be people that are interested in getting in the business and they want to work with someone they trust, i.e. you, right? So that's what a real true private lender is, right? So I can't give you a private lender. I could only give you access to hard money lenders, right? So you would have to, on your own, find that private lender. And then the last thing you talked about was... Um, going to be seller financing. And I can give you access to seller financing, though. Let me pull up HoltonWise.com. All right, so if you go to the Property Search for Sale tab, right, uh, just why we're here, everybody, if you guys want to see properties we are selling, Investment Properties for Sale Show. We are the number one seller of rentals in the Cleveland market. 
MLS search and analysis show if you want to work with me in the same way that Teresa is. Click that, order yourselves a package. But then right here, guys, click here for MLS access. All right, this is where you're going to get those seller finance deals, Teresa. Now, I am a licensed real estate broker. All right, I have access to the MLS. That's where the properties are bought and sold. Companies like Zillow and Realtor.com, right? They get access to the MLS as well, but uh, they aggregate the data at a later time. So if you're looking at Zillow or Realtor.com for properties, your, your data is old. It's a few days old, right? What this product is, this is me giving you my direct broker access to the MLS system. So the moment a property goes on the market, you know about it. And I, as a broker, am able to pre-sort that information, that data for you, so you only get the data you want. So I have all the seller finance single family houses the moment a single family house goes on the market where the seller is willing to accept some type of seller financing you will get the email that minute in real time i've also done it for the multifamily properties and then if you scroll down i've done it for commercial properties so there isn't going to be like this uh like big like like vault so to speak of all these seller finance deals just like waiting to be plucked right seller financing is the best financing you could ever get usually because uh, it's you know just it's you and the other person it's what you can work out doesn't typically go on your credit report so whenever these deals are available people want them right i myself being in the business i probably do oh i don't know i probably maybe get a million uh, to two million dollars a year in seller finance real estate every year I don't even uh, really go looking for it but people are looking for me now right because I'm all over you know YouTube Holton Wise TV is pretty big we have the biggest portfolio in Cleveland right so when people want to sell their houses uh, you know who they're gonna call they're gonna call the guy whose trucks are driving around town all the time to say I buy houses right so I probably do like one to two million dollars worth of seller financing every year right and I'm just acquiring properties uh, and I'm able to really grow my net worth uh, in addition to that though people are always putting them on the MLS but the moment they go on there there's usually a bunch of people that want them and they get gobbled up so you want to probably get all three of these feeds and then the moment something pops up what you want to do is you want to either reach out to that seller directly see what terms they're willing to offer or you want to reach out to me and my team and we'll do it on your behalf and we'll put together one of the videos we could use one of the videos out of your bank right so those are the three ways that I want you to look at those other options right that is what I want you to do in regards to hard money lending private money lending and the seller financing and then the last thing that's what leads us to the property that's what leads us to uh, the traditional route that's your traditional financing and I have uh, put this property up it's unknown to me it, it seems slightly unlikely you'll be able to take this property down today uh, if those three routes don't work what I want you to do is work on fixing your credit score and work on saving up capital so you can take down deals like this. When you can eventually take down deals like this one and get into that long-term financing, uh, this is how you'd want to do it. Until you can like get into deals like this uh, the right way, though, without like such a big stretch, just wait, right? And again, you can come back to me in 12 months, two years, three years, four years, right? Another way you could possibly even do this deal is if you did find that private partner. Perhaps they put up all the cash, okay? You handle the logistics, and then when it comes time to refi out, since your credit's not too hot, maybe they will let you use their credit as well, right? That's what they do. They provide cash and credit. You handle the logistics, and you guys work out some type of uh, equity split, right? If you're able to accomplish that, that'd be a way you could take this deal down. Uh, so it's either you're going to have to wait, you're going to have to uh, figure that out, or we're going to have to focus on those seller finance deals. But this is what's on the other end of the rainbow for you. This is the pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow. However long that takes you, that's up to you. But what we have here, 524 Railroad Street, Painesville, 44077. This has been on the market a very long time, over a year, 384 days. And I targeted this property for you because you really like Lake County. You live near Lake County. So I thought this one would be awesome for you. $67,500. And the reason that it's on the market so long is because I think that price is, is too high because this house, it, it's it's ugly. It's gross, right? You see, like... 
nobody wants to live in a house where the floor looks like that. Like, that's not going to work, right? It, it's just this old, outdated house, and this is where we as investors, this is where we eat. This is where we come in. This is where we make our money, okay? We take these ugly homes, right, and we make them beautiful. So if you can either get yourself that private partner now or down the road, if you're able to do this type of deal by yourself, this is how I'd want you to approach it. We focus on a deal where it's been on the market for a very long time. It's overpriced. We would want to come in, try to pick it up at $40,000. Just based on the photos I'm looking at, I'm seeing approximately $25,000 in renovations. What we'd want to do, cosmetically fix it all, replace those floors, pull the... You know, on the kitchen and the bath, we typically put like a matching vinyl floor over the ugly floors. The rest of the homes, there's usually hardwoods that we refinish. Paint all the walls, patch all the holes. We do agreeable gray as the wall paint, white trim throughout, new fixtures in the kitchens and the baths. And then that leaves us like $5,000 to possibly work on some of the mechanicals being the roof, hot water tank, and the furnace. We want to make these offers contingent on a third-party home inspection. If upon our receipt of that third-party home inspection, we determine that in addition to the about 20000 or so we got to do cosmetically, there's more than $5,000 worth of like big, big ticket items like roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks, we'll want to go back to the seller, renegotiate a lower price. But if there's not, if there's only that amount of stuff, what we have is we have a $40,000 acquisition, a $25,000 rehab, which puts us at a $65,000 investment. That will get us a Section 8 tenant paying 1000 bucks a month. We bring in $1,000 a month. On average, we will spend $481 to operate the property, and that's with Holton Wise operating the property for you, leaving you with an average NOI of 519 a month or 6200 228 a year. So on a pure cash purchase, that would be a cap rate of 9.6. And then this is where that partner comes in, or this is where that um, patience of you waiting till you set it up where you can do it yourself comes in, when you could actually refinance it out uh, to a long-term 30-year fixed interest loan. They will loan you 75% of the value of the property, right? Because we did all that work, I don't think it's going to appraise for only what we have into it, which is 65. I think it's going to be worth more. I think it'll be worth 75,000. When that happens, the bank will give us back 56,250, thus leaving only 8,750 into the deal. Now you got another 56,000 to work with for your next investment. That turns this investment into a 36.3% return on investment. Now, if you tried to do some deal like this too early, okay, too early, and you tried to go with a hard money lender, uh, remember, we only have like a $10,000 gap between what we've got into it and what our projected appraised price is. So with you paying all those origination fees and the interest and maybe, just maybe, your renovation went over timeline or sometimes renovations go over budget or maybe you thought your credit was good enough to do the refi but it turns out you couldn't, then you're just screwed. You're, you're up a paddle. You're, you're up shit creek without a paddle is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so you don't want to do that. I don't want to see you do that because again, we're only really working with a $10,000 gap, which turns this into a hell of a deal uh, or kind of a dud. And I don't want to see you do that, right? So I want to either see you get the right partner or way or focus on those seller finance deals. So that's everything I got for you, Teresa. Based on where I think you're at, that's what I think you should do right now. So uh, reply all with some feedback uh, to this video, right? Reply all because you're going to get this email. Uh, it's going to come from me, but members of my team are also going to be CC'd on that email. So keep us all in the loop so we could know what to do uh, going forward. If maybe you do find a partner and you want to try to take this deal down, great. Let's write up that offer for you now. If not, just let us know, hey, I am going to sit on this, sit on this information. I'm going to go out and look for partners, and I'm also going to fix my credit uh, in the time being. Just bank my videos, and I'll reach out to you when I'm ready. Just let us know what you want to do. And remember, how, you come back to me in five years. I'll still be here. Your videos will still be banked, and we'll still be ready to pick up right where we left off. So good luck, Teresa. That's all I've got for you on today's show. Folks, if you're a new viewer out there, make sure you do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.